This will be the first quest for the Sky Valley expansion. Just by logging into the game, you'll automatically get this quest. All you have to do is just open up your pit boy, go to the radio tab, and you want to listen to the vault Tech broadcast. After that, you just have to head over to the yellow circle on your map, and you need to find a girl named Alicia. Talk to her, and she'll point you to find another yellow circle on the map. You have to get there and find Vault 63. To find the vault is pretty easy once you're inside of the objective location. Just look at your compass at the bottom center of your screen and just follow the dot until you reach the location to successfully complete this quest. Upon completion, you'll be rewarded with the Burn Pit Boy skin. For this quest, you need to venture into the ruins of Vault 63. Once inside, you need to clear all the lost or the AI enemies. After that, just follow your yellow quest marker until you find an intercom. You'll speak with Hilda and she'll ask you to go to this Skyline Drive entrance where you'll find Craig, speak to him and he'll ask you to go to the Dark Hollow Manor. Once you reach the Dark Hollow Manor, you've successfully completed the quest and you'll be rewarded with this awesome home camp item which is the Shenandoah Park sign. I'm just gonna put this right in front of my home for now. For this quest, you'll start inside of the Dark Hollow Manor. Firstly, you need to clear all the AI enemies which are called the Lost. There's also a secret basement entrance to the right as you can see here. And you have to remember this dead body right here because we're gonna get back to this one to grab a quest item later. Down at the basement, you have to clear more AI enemies and then just follow the yellow quest marker and interact with the intercom. You'll speak with Hilda and she'll ask you to go back to the corpse or the body that we found earlier and grab the lost hand. Once you grab it, bring it back to the intercom area. There'll be a hand reader where you have to use the severed hand and you'll unlock a secret door that will lead you to the atrium. Inside, you speak to Hilda and then she'll walk away and she'll ask you to speak to the leader of this location, which is Hugo. He'll just ride across the room. Go and speak to him and Hugo will ask you to speak to Oberlin which you can find him by following the yellow quest marker. Talk to Oberlin and then report back to Hugo and then you've successfully completed the quest. Upon completion, you'll be rewarded with this cool looking burn vault suit which you can use as outfit right now instead of just under armor. For this quest, you already found out that there's a secret vault or atrium inside of the Dark Hollow Manor which is run by Overseer Hugo. So firstly, you need to be speaking with Oberlin where he'll ask you to go and meet the residents of the vault. So you'll want to do exactly do that, go to the residence area and then start talking to Margaret. After talking to her, she'll give you three tasks which you need to do. Let's start with the first one. After speaking to Margaret to find Alfie's key, firstly, you need to take the elevator just outside of this living hall right here. Once you reach upstairs, as you can see, elevator is right in front of us. You want to turn right, the locked door to Alfie's room. It's right there. Right on this table, you'll find Elfie's keycard. So now you can use it on Elfie's door. You just have to open the door and head inside. You found out that Elfie has turned feral. And unfortunately, you have to take him out of his misery to complete the first part of the task. The second part of the task, the rat infestation, is pretty easy. Just go back to where it came from. And there'll be this huge door. Open this door and you have to clear all the rats to successfully complete the second part of the task. For the final task, you just head over to the reactor room. Make sure to use the power armor or you can use red egg. You have to repair all these five pipes and you finally complete the task. All you have to do now is just report back to Margaret and then report back to Oberlin to successfully complete the quest and you'll receive the V63 Shock Beacon which is an anti-armor melee weapon. It looks pretty good with that lightning effects. After talking to Hugo, for this quest firstly you need to find Cassidy's journal. Go inside her room and under the table, you should be able to find the brown journal. Then just follow the quest marker, you need to search for Cassidy near the waterfall. Go to the gardens area, behind the waterfall there'll be a hidden passage which will lead you downstairs. You want to be looking at this pump access room, there's a broken fuse box. I'm not sure if you can just melee to open it. Before I melee this fuse box, I went downstairs and actually turned the valve, which I'm not pretty sure what is it for. And then I go back to the palm access door, perform a melee hit on the fuse box, and the door suddenly open. Inside, you'll find Cassidy laying on the bed, and then you'll be surprised by Hugo that suddenly appears behind your back. All right, right now you have to go to Hugo's desk Right behind his desk, there's a safe where you need to use the key and pick up all the stuff from there. You can pause this video and read if you want to. Alright, now you have to go back and meet Hugo. 
where he'll ask you to meet his daughter at the weather station. All you have to do now is just to fast travel to the weather station and then you want to enter the door that will lead to Vault 63 Meteorology Center. Just follow the quest marker. Once you're inside, you just want to go downstairs. There's going to be a passage that will lead you to Audrey Stoll's location. Go and talk to her and then you successfully completed the quest. Upon completion, you'll get Cassidy's favorite painting plan, which you can place at your home for decorations. For this quest, you need to talk to Audrey's tolls, and then she'll ask you to go to the Shenandoah Visitor Center. You want to fast travel there and then enter the Visitor Center, where you'll be greeted by Kevin Harris. Kevin seems to have a cultist problem, which is preventing him to get to his bunker where we need the quest item. So he's asking us to help him first before he can help us. So now you just have to follow the yellow quest marker and then clear all the cultists in the area. Once you've done that, you'll meet up with Kevin at the bunker entrance. Just follow him into his bunker where then he'll ask you to retrieve the weather machine repair part. Once done, you just have to go back to Audrey at the Hawksbill Weather Center inside of the meteorology. Once you've spoken to Audrey, she'll ask you to install the weather machine repair part. In the other room, just follow the yellow quest marker. And once done, you've successfully completed the task, Audrey will come to you. And then you have a surprise visit from Audrey's dad, Hugo. As for the quest reward, you get one of the best weapons inside of the game, which is Ticket to Revenge. It is a railway rifle with blooded, which means damage will increase as your health gets lower. We have 50% chance on hit when hitting target in vets, as well as 15 bonus vets critical damage as well as the chance to stagger. The best part is that you'll get double the ammo size and a unique skin for the railway rifle. For this quest, you need to be heading over to the Cremora Mines, where you need to save Cassidy, Hugo's wife. She's been kidnapped by the cultists. Once you're there, you need to find a little disguise, which can be found inside of this hut. Once you've worn the outfit, you can now enter the cave. Inside of the cave, you want to go right until the end until you see a flight of stairs when you need to go upstairs. The enemies will not detect you as you're wearing a disguise. So right now, you want to follow where I'm going right now, but you need to investigate the upper floors. You just have to go inside of the secret room. On top of the bed, there will be a password sheet. Once you read this note, it will be a checkpoint where you just have to go back where you came from and talk to Pepper. Tell him the password and he'll let you pass through. After that, you just want to keep following the path until you reach kind of like a ritual area. There you'll find Alex Guerra, which I believe to be a friend of Audrey Stoll's Hugo's daughter. So you want to be talking to her until the dialogue part where you have to hand over the book that Hugo had given you. And you'll hand this over to Alex. Without you knowing, there's a gas trap inside of the book which unfortunately kill Alex. Then the entire cave will start shooting at you, so you just have to clear them. Right now, you have to find Cassidy. To find her, I'm going to use this bonfire as a reference here. You want to turn around and keep going forward until you find a wooden door. Open the door and you'll find Cassidy inside. All you have to do now is just clear the area from all of the cultists. After you're done, you'll need to report back to Hugo. Now just teleport back to Dark Hollow Manor inside of the atrium where you need to talk to Hugo where you'll complete the quest. Audrey will come into the picture as well as she heard the conversation and she's not happy that her friend Alex was killed by her own father. So upon completing this quest, you'll receive the blueprint for the cultist Mona outfit as well as the mask. This will be the same outfit worn by Alex Guerra earlier. For this quest, you need to be going over to the Shining Creek Caverns. Once you're inside the cave, just follow your compass at the bottom center of your screen and also follow the yellow quest marker to find the organic sector entrance. Once you find the place, you need to be entering the organic sector and then you need to be finding and entering Hilda's office. But before that, I found a cool blue bath robe inside of the showers. I'm not sure whether this is an old clothing or a new one, but it looks really great and the color is really vibrant. All right, let's get back to Hilda. You have to enter her office, just past this laser grid, and she'll ask you to go to a lot of places like the greenhouses, the pharmaceutical area. You just have to follow those instructions until finally she asks you to get the serum alpha and then administer it, kind of like inject it into a feral ghoul. 
Unfortunately, the tests will not be successful and you have to take the Feral Ghoul down. For this part of the quest, you need to be entering the greenhouses. Now you want to follow my route to collect the cave gate key. Once you have the key, you can now enter the tunnel entrance to the Shining Creek cavern. Alright, once inside, you're gonna get hallucinated. You need to find three unusual fungi. You just have to follow my route here. Alright, right in front of this small metal cabin, you'll find the second unusual fungi. Alright, now let's use this huge pillar as your reference. You want to jump down and then head over to this pathway. There'll be a metal door. You need to kill some AI and right at the end, you'll find the third fungi. After that, you just have to head upstairs and then you'll be at the starting area where you just have to use the tunnel to get back to the greenhouses. Alright, after that, head back to Hilda's office. She'll ask you to do a couple of things, and then you have to do the same thing. Administer or inject the Feral Ghoul, and the result will be the same. It won't be successful, and you have to take the Feral Ghoul down. After that, Hilda will ask you to go back to meet Oberlin, where you have to get back to Dark Hollow Manor, where you will complete this quest. Upon completion, you'll unlock the Severed Lost Hand, which you can place at your home camp as a decoration. I think it would be really spooky during Halloween. For this quest, after talking to Orbelin, he'll ask you to go to the High Knob Lookout where you need to look for Daniel. Once you're there, you need to clear the Blood Eagles and then find a secret entrance to the High Knob Fire Tower. Once you're inside, you want to clear all the AI and you want to be looking specifically for the AI that is wearing this power armor. He'll drop the High Knob Basement Key which you need to grab and then go to the yellow quest marker and unlock the door and you'll find Daniel. You want to grab the holo tape and read the report and then you'll find the true colors of who Hugo is really is. All you have to do now is just teleport back to Dark Hollow Manor and you'll have the option to confront and talk to Hugo but I wouldn't do that. Just go straight to Orberlin and you've completed the quest. Upon completion, you'll be rewarded with this cool explosive handmade called the Shattered Grounds. For this quest, you need to talk to Hugo. By now, we already know Hugo's true color. And no matter what dialogue you choose, you can call him a psychopath. Hugo will still double down and stick to what he thinks he's right. So you want to keep talking to him until you have the option to choose better got to it then. After that, the dialogue will end. You need to go downstairs and meet with Hilda and Audrey. Once you're there, to your surprise, we have Three people there, including Oberlin. These guys already know the true color of Hugo as well, and they are planning to take precautionary measures. So they're gonna assign us some tasks. The tasks are really easy. Firstly, you need to activate the lightning harvester at research site Saxony. Just go there, and you have to activate the lightning harvester and then defend it for around a minute. After you're done, you need to be heading over the south side of Shining Creek Caverns and do the same thing. Activate the Lightning Harvester and defend it for around a minute. And finally, you have to go to Research Site Rhineland, which you have to do the same thing again. Activate the Lightning Harvester and defend it for about a minute. It's a really repetitive quest, but it's really easy. Once you defend it for a minute on this last location, you've successfully completed the quest. And you'll be rewarded with the Vault 63 Hazmat Suit plan. It's an awesome looking hazmat suit, which looks pretty amazing right here. It has a thousand radiation damage resist, and you need this amount of materials to craft it in your armor bench. For this quest, you need to be heading over to Dark Hollow Manor to the Atrium levels. Once you're back, you notice that Hugo is no longer at his seat. So now you just have to meet Oberlin and he'll ask you to go to the Hawksville weather station and enter the Vault 63 meteorological sector to meet up with Audrey. You just want to follow my route here to enter the meteorological center. Once inside, Audrey will wait for you and you just want to talk to her. 
and then you want to enter the laser grid and you'll be swarmed by the loss you want to take all of them down and then prepare for the final encounter with hugo when fighting hugo stalls there might be a bug which you guys may encounter which i'm going to show you later with possible quick fix so let's go through the fight first at first he's going to be indestructible so instead of focusing on him you want to be focusing on the minions or the other ai once you clear all the AI, sometimes Hugo will just run outside of the laser grid. And if you happen to kill him outside of the laser grid, the game will then ask you to decide the fate of Hugo, whether you want to kill him or you want to spare him. However, you won't be able to do that as he's right now stuck outside of the laser grid and you can't get close to him to interact with him. So I've tried a possible quick fix, it's just to just log out of the server and come back in. You'll spawn outside at the Hawksbill weather station. You just have to run back inside of the Vault 63 meteorology sector. Something weird will happen once you're inside. You'll spawn in the boss encounter and you'll see Hugo and Cassidy at the top of this tower. Like the beginning scene, once again, he's not like laying down or in a down state. So if you talk to him, the game will then give you the ending dialogue scene which you will have a choice whether to capture him or to kill him. So I'm going to choose the choice to just capture him and once you've done that, you just have to interact with the terminal right upstairs to power down the entire thing and then you have to travel back to Dark Hollow Manor to the atrium and then you'll see now Oberlin is in charge and you just have to talk to him to successfully complete the mission. Upon completion, you'll be rewarded with this two-handed melee weapon called the Zwinghander. Also, by completing each and every quest in Skyline Valley expansion, you'll be rewarded with cool skin, clothing, and weapons. If you want to know all the rewards, you can click the video right at the end or link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful, be sure to hit the subscribe for more future Fallout 76 videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.